This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can make Inkscape have a dark workspace on the canvas like Illustrator has. And this is something that I've been asked about a lot, especially by those of you who are switching over to Inkscape from Illustrator and find the glaring white canvas of Inkscape to be somewhat of a nuisance when you're working. But before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you are working with the proper version of Inkscape, which is version 1.0 or above. If you don't know what your version is, just click on Help and go to About Inkscape and it will tell you in this little pop-up window here. As you can see, I'm using version 1.0. If you're using 1.0 or above or greater, like a newer version, then you're good to go. You can close out of that. If you're using an older version like 0 0.92.5 or, or something even older than that, uh, you'll probably have to use one of my older tutorials because what I'm going to demonstrate here won't apply to those older versions. So let's close out of that. Let's set up the dark theme first. Let's come over here to where it says Edit and go to Preferences. And I'm going to come over to, let me close the tools menu. Let me open up the interface menu and expand that. I'm going to click on theme. I'm going to use dark theme, check that. And then use symbolic icons and check that. And as you can see here, it's already looking a lot more like Illustrator. So let's close out of this menu. What we want to do now is make the workspace have a dark background here. So to do that, we'll go to File, Document Properties. And where it says Background Color, let's open that up and I'm going to choose HSL from the color selector and I'm going to choose the L row down here and just slide that up and as you can see it is changing the background it's changing the canvas background as I change it there and I'm going to leave it right about there that's looking pretty good as you can see it's already a lot easier on the eyes it isn't it isn't you don't have like this bright white background shining into your eyes so let me close out of that and close out of that what we need now is a white uh, like a white artboard to work with. To do that, let me grab the squares and rectangles tool. I'm just going to create a rectangle and I'm going to grab the select tool. Let me size this rectangle. Let me set the increments to pixels. I'm going to size it by 1280 by 1280. You can size it to whatever you want. I just like to work with 1280 by 1280 as a default. I'm going to make that white and now I'm going to open up the document properties again. I'll go to file, document properties, and over here, we're looking for resize page to content right there and resize page to drawing or selection. Click on that and it's going to resize the page boundaries around that rectangle that you have selected. And where it says show page border, I'm just going to disable that. I'd rather that not be there. Let's close out of that. And as you can see, we now have a white artboard to work with. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. But the problem you'll have now is that you can accidentally click this thing and alter it while you're working. It'll get in your way. So in order to anchor this thing down, what I'm going to do is use layers. So I'll come over here to the layers menu. Let's click on that. Control Shift and L is the keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to rename this layer to Canvas. And I'm going to lock it. I'm going to lock that layer so that we can't click on it and edit it while we're working. And now I'm going to add a new layer on top of it. I'm going to name this contents. This is the contents layer. Click add. And there you go. Now you have a setup similar to Illustrator where you have uh, a black or a dark workspace with a white artboard that you can export as needed. A couple of things though I'd like to point out. Number one is Inkscape does not recognize this white background as an actual background. It recognizes it as a white rectangle. So if you go to export an object on top of this background, it's going to export the white rectangle with it. Let me show you what I mean here. If I grab the, the circles and ellipses tool and I click and drag to create an ellipse, let me just make that red. If I go to File, Export PNG Image, and I export it by selection, it's going to export everything within this rectangular bounding box, including the white background there. Because like I said, Inkscape does not recognize this as a background. It recognizes it as a white object. So normally it would export to transparency here, but now over this object it's going to export with the white background. To change that, you can just select this option right here that says hide all except selected. And with that, with that selected, you can now export this red ellipse and get a transparent background in the corners here. If you want to save this as your startup file, so that you don't have to manually create this every time you want to design something. Just go to File, 
save template. And I'm going to title this dark canvas. And where it says set as default template, go ahead and check that. You know what? Let me get rid of this let me get rid of this ellipse first. I don't want that in there. Let's go to file, save as. No, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry, not save as. Save template and save this as dark canvas and set as default template and go ahead and click save. And what happens now is you can go ahead and close out of Inkscape. And once you reload Inkscape, every time you open up Inkscape now, you will get this as your default template so that you don't have to do this all the time. If you don't feel like setting this up, what I'll do is I will save this document as an SVG file and I will post a link to it in the description of the video. So if you want, you could just download this file. You can open it up with Inkscape and then just go directly to file, save template, and save it as your default template from there. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating a, uh, a dark workspace in Inkscape like you would have in Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.